So this is my male Tarahu Maraboa, uh, purchased from Randy Wright almost, almost two years ago now. Um, he's on rats, and he's got a great, great temperament. Of course, I've messed with him already, so he's trying to get away. Um, these don't get very big, four feet, five feet tops. Um, I feed them very sparingly. I have a pair of these. <clears throat> The key thing to remember with these, to distinguish them from the, the knockoffs per se, the people trying to scam you and say it's something it isn't, is this black, dark, gorgeous spearhead on the head. Um, I'll grab my female right now. Okay, so that's her. These will be ready to go this winter, I think. They're over, she's over three feet and he's four. Um, they're the same year. They're as unrelated as you can get. Um, there's not a lot of people breeding these, so they're all technically related. Um, but these are not siblings, and they're from two different breeders. I got this one from Steven at Scaly Babies. Um, and... Her temperament's not as good. She took some working with. She's fine now, but if you startle her, she'll hiss a little bit. Um, she also has um, has to be fed a little more sparingly. Um, she's one of those where she won't poop unless you wait her out. Um, she's a little darker, too. Actually, they're both getting going to shed soon. They're not as pretty as they get right now, but she's definitely got the big black... Tara Humara spearhead. And so these these definitely not nasty like some of the Central Americans I've dealt with. Um, other Central Americans, I mean. Um, you know, nice pink. She just ate, so she's a little... She ate yesterday. A little swollen. But... I'll keep everybody updated on these. I'm very excited to breed these um, this coming winter. Thanks.